Hi, this is PG of PG's Lumacy. In this tutorial, we will be making Iron Man from the Rainbow Loom Avengers series. The bands that we will be using for this project will be red and gold and some white bands. Uh, for the gold bands, uh, I'm using Rainbow Loom uh, gold bands. They come in a multi-pack with gold and silver metallic bands. I know this is a uh, limited edition series, so I'm not sure if they still have it on their website. But I'll be showing you other uh, band options later on in this video. We will use the loom in its standard offset configuration. And that means that the pins will be staggered. And make sure that the arrow is pointing downwards or pointing at you. Let us make the arms before we work on the main body. For the arms, let's use two bands. I call these double bands on the top center pins. Double bands on the right top pins. And then three bands. Take note of that. It's three bands on this side. And then two gold bands. Another two gold bands. Two red bands and three red bands. That is just to have a thicker hand or a bigger hand. And we will cap this arm piece with a single band wrapped three times on this pin. One, two, and three. Let us loop the bands for the arm piece. You go into this capping band and grab these bands underneath. Hold on to the capping bands and then loop the triple bands underneath. Continue looping all the way to the top. And when you get to this part, instead of looping it to this pin, you will loop it to this pin over here. So this band, and these are triple bands, will be held by two sets of bands. Then we loop all the way to the top. We need to set this aside because we're going to use the loom for the main body. So you grab a toothpick and secure the loops up top and then pull the entire arm piece off the loom. Okay, this is the arm piece. You set it aside and you will need to make another piece for the other arm, of course. We can now work on the main body, starting with the head. For the head, let us place three red bands on the top center pins, and then two gold bands in um, a diagonal from this pin to the top center pin 
and we'll do that on the other side as well. Then, let us put a row of gold double bands. Next, let us add two gold bands on the center pins. And then to form the chin, we will add diagonal bands from this center pin to this pin on the right. And we will do that on the other side as well. Now for the neck, we will add three red bands. For the shoulder area, let's place two red bands diagonally from this pin to the pin in the center. And then, let's do that on the other side. Now, we will place three rows of red double bands. And to that, we will just add two more red bands to these center pins. For the legs, we will place three double bands in a chain. And then to that, we will add red double bands all the way to the bottom. That will be two sets of red double bands. Let's do that again on the other side, starting with three sets of gold double bands. Then we add two sets of red double bands. Now to finish uh, the layout, we will add capping bands to these pins on the bottom. And to make the capping bands, they will also be the extension of uh, the boots, we will use these pins that are not part of the layout. They're not used for the layout, but we will use them to make our extension pieces, which will also act as the capping bands. So for that, we will use two red bands on these center pins, and then three red bands on these pins. And we will cap these bands with a single band wrapped three times. One, two, and three. We will loop 
the bands for this piece, we go into the cap capping band, grab the three bands underneath, hold on to the capping band, and then loop the three bands to the forward pin. And then we loop the double bands. And then we take this entire piece off the loom and move it to this piece. Okay, let's do that again on the other side. Two, three bands, cap, which is looped three times, and then we loop. Okay, we get it off the loom and move it to this pin. This is how the layout will look like after we've placed the vertical and the diagonal bands. Now let us place the horizontal bands that will hold the piece together and also define its shape. And for our horizontal bands on this project, we will be using double looped bands. And to form a double loop band, all you need to do is get a single band, you twist it to form a double eight, of a figure eight, and then you fold it to itself, and that forms the double band. Okay, let's do that again. Form a figure eight by twisting, fold to itself, and you form the double band. And you see that I have placed the double loop bands on this section of the face. Let us also put horizontal bands for the body. Again, we're using double loop bands, twist, fold, and then we place it on these pins. And then twist, fold, and we place it on this section over here. So those would be the horizontal bands that we have placed, two in the head area and two in the middle part of the body, the abs part of the body. Let us now attach the arms and we are placing the arms on these pins by the shoulder area. We made two pieces for the arms. Let's, let's attach the, the first piece. What I do is that I take away the, the toothpick that's holding them and you will see here that we have two sets of loops and what I do is that for the first set of loops I place one on this pin and the other on this pin like so then push down to make room for the next set of loops. I grab my loops and I place them on the same pins. Okay, and for a more natural look, I make sure that these bands on the top are on 
the upper side of the body and the bands on the lower layer are on the lower side of the body just for a more natural look so the arm doesn't look like it's twisted in an unnatural way now let us work on the other side okay you grab your arm piece pull out the toothpick okay you see the these set of loops in the first ones we're placing them on these pins and then push down and grab second set of loops place them on the same pins and like we did on the other arm we want this loop to be on this side and the lower loop to be on that side for a more natural look on the arm okay so this would be the layout for your uh, project you might want to pause the video and check to see if you have the same layout we are now ready to loop the bands and we will start with the legs. You go into these capping bands and grab the bands underneath. Hold on to the capping bands or extension pieces and then loop. And then loop all the way to the hip area. Let's do that again for this other side. Now let us work on the the upper body. Let's loop these bands. Okay. And then go into the horizontal band and the gold bands. We're grabbing these bands. And then this band. Now when you get to this area by, by the, the chest area and the arm area, you have to remember that we will place the piece for the artificial heart. And to make the artificial heart, I will be using a white band and it will be held in place by red bands. So what I do is I make a double looped white band, twist, and fold to itself. Okay, and then I get my red bands. You can use the hook for this. I get my red bands into this double loop band. like so okay and what I do is that I loop this middle band this double bands I loop them to the forward pin and then before I loop these side bands I will 
add my piece for the artificial heart. And what I do is that I part my red bands. So one goes on one side and the other goes on one side. You place one band on the right side and the other band on the left side. Okay. And from there, we will loop the side bands. If you want, you could use uh, different color bands for these pieces that are holding the artificial heart, maybe black, gray, or even silver. Uh, that's up to you, but I just chose red for this particular project. And now, we have to grab these bands underneath these heavy layers of bands. We, we need to grab these bands. So we go all the way to the bottom of the layers and grab the double band and we loop over the arm pieces. These are usually the ones that are forgotten because they're hidden. So make sure that you loop them. Okay, we are grabbing these bands over here. We go all the way to the bottom of the layers. Okay, make sure you grab two of them. Okay, get them out and loop over the arm piece. And then loop the middle bands. Now let's work on the shoulder bands. And then the neck bands. Now let's work on the bands for the head, starting with the chin area. And you have to remember to loop the bands that are on top. And in my case, that would be these bands. So you grab them, get them off the pin, and then loop to the forward pin. You know that you loop the right bands when you get this neat teardrop shape. If it's twisted and uh, you don't have the teardrop shape, then you, you grab the wrong band. So you have to uh, redo your work. Okay, grab the bands on top. See the teardrop shape? And then you grab the ones in the middle. Okay, now let us loop these bands. And to finish off, let us loop the bands on the top of the head. And uh, to make sure that the red band will be prominent, you loop it last. The red bands, these triple red bands up top, you loop them last. You first loop the, the gold ones on the sides. And then the middle triple red bands. So this is how the layout will look like after you have looped the bands. Check to see um, if you've looped all the bands. Make sure you did not miss any of the bands because if you miss just one, of the bands when you pull this piece off the loom it will fall apart
let us secure the top loops by um, inserting our hook into all of them and then you grab a single red band and thread it into all those loops you form a, a knot and pull carefully to secure the top knots and we will now be ready to pull the piece of the loom. I usually use my hook to pry the, the thicker layers off the loom so they don't break. like this area by the neck and the arms as well. Just pry them with the hook carefully. Okay. And then it should be easy to pull the entire piece off the loom. Now stretch the bands. Okay. pull on these bands at the back so that our boots will be angled and be pointing forward and one last detail that we will add will be the the eyes for the eyes we'll be using a white band and we will first uh, insert it into this section. See, the loops formed with the center band in this section. Just get your eye piece in there. Okay, stretch it out a bit so it's more manageable. Now, grab this single layer of bands and then get your eyepiece in there. Okay. And then do that as well for the other side. Just a single layer of band the side of the head and then grab the white band okay and you will have it come out the back this way and that will form the eyes okay now to secure you grab a a C clip first get this piece on the top of the head and you get it onto the C clip and then we grab one end of the white band and place it on the C clip and then we grab the other end and place it on the C clip as well. Okay, make sure it gets in there. Now get your hook carefully out of the bands and this is how it will look like the C clip will be holding the, the piece from the top of the head and then the white piece for the eyes and then just fine-tune the shape make sure 
that the eyepiece is, is flattish, not twisted. And uh, I want to tweak this a little bit so that section over here will be hidden because uh, it looks like our Iron Man has three eyes. So just tweak this, maybe pinch it a little bit. So stretch out the, the piece. I'd like to show you a second option in making the artificial heart for Iron Man. But first, I'd like you to take note that I'm using a different set of bands for this particular piece. I found these darker red bands from a local craft store, uh, AC Moore. I think uh, it's mostly on the East Coast. And I found these thicker gold bands online. And they're the bands that I used for this uh, piece. I'd like you to see the difference between these bands and the bands from Rainbow Loom. And it's up to you to decide what you would like to use. But for this particular piece, I am using a clear bluish pony bead for the artificial heart. And I'd like to place it in this section over here. And I'll be using two white bands. And I will insert those white bands into the hole on the bead. And then I will part the band so one band goes on one side and the other band goes on one side. We will place the bead with the bands on this section over here. Okay, we, we have parted the loops. So grab both loops and, and pull them so you can place one band on this side and one band on the other side okay and that is for the artificial heart now in looping the bands when you get to this part of the body where the bead is, you will just loop over the bead. So grab the double bands from this pin and then loop over the bead. And then continue looping the bands just as in the other action figures that we have already made. When you get the piece off the loom, you need to make sure that the bead is in this area over here. So you have to fix the, the placement. pull on these bands over here so they will 
and then fix these bands so they will look like they're holding the bead at, at these four different spots. Now, you have to stretch out the bands. As you can see, it keeps on going to this side. So, it has to be on this side. So you keep on stretching the bands until you get the desired shape. There you go. So this is the project that we made with the rainbow loom bands. And just for comparison, he, this is the Iron Man that we made with the uh, non-rainbow loom bands. And we also did this version with the clear pony bead. So you could m mix and match. Uh, you will see that the non Rainbow Loom bands are mm, more metallic and they're bulkier. So we have a, a slightly bigger piece for the Iron Man. So it depends on the availability of the bands, whatever you have uh, with you. Uh, you could just mix and match and, and make your own Iron Man. So there you have it. Iron Man from the Rainbow Loom Avengers series.